again, year 10, this is uh, lesson two, which uh, may follow straight on from lesson, um, lesson one, if you have a double, or it may be the next day. So uh, the topic we looked at, we're looking at this week is school, school uniform and school rules. We looked at school uniform in lesson one, and here we're moving on to look at school rules. So as a starter, sorry, this, it takes a long time to move on from one screen to the next. As a starter, please, here we've got the title, Las Normas del Insti, same as yesterday. The date here is the same as when I recorded the um, lesson one. You need to make it match the day you're doing this lesson on. And please, as a starter, can you have a think? This is going to take some, some, um, some thinking here. Which of the following expressions can be used with an infinitive? Now, remember, the infinitive is the verb the part of the verb which is to do, to run, to ride, to sing, and so on. So can you say, for example, odio cantar, ago cantar, vamos a cantar, and so on. Now some of those will work. So pick an infinitive, whichever one you like, hablar, comer, tener, vivir, whatever you like. Think of an infinitive or several and work out which of these expressions you can use with an infinitive. It'll take you about eight minutes, I should think. So pause the video um, and when you're ready, move on. But first of all, let's say write the date and the title and then write down the verbs that you think can be used in the infinitive and then move on to check when you're ready. Okay, so this was uh, the list that you should have come up with in green, because they can be used with an infinitive, are odio, se debe, vamos a, tengo que, quieres, hay que, no está prohibido, se permite. You can't use these with an infinitive, because le gustan, that would have to be used with something plural that you liked, uh, or something that he or she liked, le gustan los perros, for example. Fuimos, we went. You can't be followed um, by an infinitive. Um, jugar al is going to be followed by a sport. Ago, present tense, that can't be used with an infinitive because you need to, um, um, you can't have the sort of two verbs, so something like ago misteres or something. No veo, I don't watch, can't be watched with an infinitive, can't be used with an infinitive either. And llevar is already an infinitive. But these ones, you can follow with an infinitive. So I hate to sing, for example, odio cantar. Se debe, you have to. Se debe hacer los deberes. Vamos a, if you follow put an infinitive there, vamos a ir de vacaciones. You are making the immediate future tense. We are going to go on a holiday and so on. Now, some of these you may not have seen for a while, but we're going to be looking at them today to look at how to form rules. So we're moving on when my slow computer does to see, just to check the um, objectives again for this week. Now, las normas del instituto. This is the, the main point for today. We've got the rules of, the, of school. On this board, there are uh, three, six, nine rules which apply in this particular school. We've got things like está prohibido llevar maquillaje. Está prohibido llevar joyas y piercings. Now, I'm going to get you to, to access this set, go through it. And I'd like you, please, you're going to have to come back to this um, part of the video in a second, because I'm just going to move on and show you the next. This is the exercise I'd like you to do. I want you to read the school rules. Write down all the infinitives, please, Spanish and English. So the first rule there was um, no se puede o no se permite llevar maquillaje. Está prohibido, actually, llevar maquillaje. So the infinitive in that first one is in red, uh, and it means it's llevar, which is to, re to, um, to wear. So please write down the infinitives, which are in red, in a list, translate them. Secondly, I want you to find the next, the few items of vocab I've put down here. Again, write it in Spanish, first of all, and write it in English. And maquillaje appears in the first rule. Um, so I want you to please to write down maquillaje, and then translate it. It does, in fact, mean makeup. So you'll have two lists there as well. Thirdly, there's 
some expressions I'd like you to translate to esta prohibido, no se permite, no se debe. Now you're going to have to look these up, use wordreference.com if you can, or um, you might want to um, think about what the infinitives are and, and look those up. So these are the expressions which are all about rules. So three activities there, please. You may, you will need to switch between this and the previous slide on the video just to get that done. Um, you may want to take a, a picture of one and then say you've got both in front of you at the same time. Okay, when you're ready, pause the video and then do the task. When you're ready again, resume. Okay, so that was um, time for you to do the, the task, hopefully if you paused and then resumed. So the infinitives were llevar, to wear, escuchar, to listen, usar, to use, mandar, to send, comer, to eat, or in this, in this context, it's really to chew because it's talking about chewing gum. Correr, to run, salir, to go out, ser, to be. Here's your vocab that you had to find. Maquillaje was makeup. Joyas is jewelry. Mobile is your mobile. Chicle is chewing gum. Uh, pasillos should be corridors. It's a spelling mistake there, sorry. La jornada escolar is the school day. Punctual is punctual. Amable, kind. Desobediente is the disobedient. And grosero is rude. And here are the expressions that I wanted you to translate. So the first one is prohibited. It isn't allowed or isn't permitted. You mustn't. Students have to. Students mustn't. So these are expressions you're going to be using today when you look at the, um, the concept of obligation, of having to do something, of having to follow rules. So pause the video while you write that down, check and correct, uh, and using a red pen when you're ready move on. Okay, so the next thing you're going to be doing is doing a listening. I've attached a sound file in Google Classroom, so you need to click on that um, for this, this exercise here. There are four, if you go back to the slide that had the rules A to I, to refer to them, then you can write down the letters of the rules that are mentioned. And do they consider those rules to be positive or negative? Okay, so each of the speakers mentions several um, rules which are identified with the letters A to I from the slide we had where the rules were first written out. Okay, so when you're ready, pause the video uh, and do the task. Right, here was the um, the slide again with the A to I letters. So hopefully you have now done the task and I need you to check and correct in red pen please. So the first person mentioned A, F and G that was wearing makeup, um, not running in the corridors and G not leaving school during the school, school day and he thought they were negative. Second person mentioned E, D and C. E is you're not allowed to eat gum in class. Um, you're not allowed to use your mobile or send messages in class. And it was uh, not allowed to listen to your to music in class. Um, and he thought those were positive, they were good ideas. Three, I was the students mustn't be either disobedient or rude. Uh, again, not eating gum in class. And C was mentioned again there. You can't listen to music in class. And again, they were considered positive rules. Number four, you weren't allowed to wear um, jewellery or piercings. You weren't allowed to use your phone or send messages in class. And H was students need to be on time and, um, and polite. And that was considered to be negative by the speaker. Okay, so check and correct in red pen before you move on. Okay, now there is a link attached in Google Classroom to watch the video, please, 
on some structures which take the infinitive. So they're pretty much what we looked at, but here it's a slightly different way of, of uh, describing it. I want you to make notes on the video, please, and then complete the sentences to practice. So pause the video here, go out and find the link to Google, in Google Classroom, which takes you to a YouTube video um, by something called, um, ooh, I can't remember, I think it's Why Spanish, it's called. Uh, when you've done that, come back and we'll do the next task. Okay, so this is the practice task, having watched the YouTube video. Um, three sentences, please, for you to translate to practice. At Waden, it's prohibited to chew gum. You mustn't send messages in class. You have to listen to the teacher. So pause the video, complete those three sentences please, translating them into, into Spanish, and then check your work. Okay, so you've moved on, so therefore you should have these answers now. En Weyden, está prohibido comer chicle. No se debe mandar mensajes en clase. Se debe o tiene que o hay que. Any of those would work here, so long as you've got the infinitive after it. So, está prohibido, plus the infinitive, comer. No se debe mandar, there's your infinitive. And any of these, you must, you have to, you have to listen to the teacher, escuchar al profe. So, check and correct, please. And think about what if you, the ones you got wrong, what didn't you know? Okay, so just reviewing what we've done today then, we've looked at the structure and the use of phrases followed by an infinitive here. Um, we've used more vocabulary in grammar and we've done some listening and reading as well. And tomorrow on the next lesson, lesson three, you'll be evaluating setting targets on how you can improve further. Thank you very much indeed, year 10. That's the end of your second lesson.